what a beautiful way to handle the swimsuit episode. And yes, I know how swimsuit episodes normally are handled, but they are not handled this way. There was actually nothing edgy in this episode, I would say. Unless you, of course, would call bikinis edgy, but that's all. But let's talk about what the core about this episode is. And that is that Iki and Stella now has been lovers for two weeks, but they haven't done anything lover-like, like kissing or getting to the third base. So Stella is getting a little bit frustrated over that. But the issue is that she is a bit like, shall we say, closed off. She's basically not opening up to Iki, which causes this issue. So when she, at the end of this episode, after having an argument with him, because he thinks that she may hate him, and she thinks that he hates her, and he want to break up with her, they end up kissing in this at the end of this episode. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, guys. And yes, that happens while she's in a swimsuit and him in, I think it's called a trunk or boxes. I'm not sure exactly what the male swimsuit is called. So yeah, that's really beautiful. However, this episode doesn't go without, let's say, some what's called obstacles because Iki, he has become a little bit popular because before he was known as the failed one. However, after winning against some opponents that are stronger than him, some of the girls are starting to like, it's called him the uncrowned knight. And he is, uh, they are actually asking him to train them, which causes issue with the boys because they don't like that a failure like him can, you know, get the girls when they cannot get girls and they are higher ranked than him. So they try to take him down and he takes them down and they end up becoming his students and he teaches them in a proper way. Really interesting like that um, it's actually important that you can stand on one leg without you know like falling over or anything because you then you get better than if you use both your legs because there's more weight on that one leg than if you have both legs down. Really interesting. And we also find out that Tsuzuki, she hasn't given up on him, even though she knows it's wrong. She even talks with Alice about it. And he says that from the shall I say, normal society standpoint, it is wrong. But even though she knows it's wrong and she still loves her brother, that means that it's real love and not just some, what's it called, fake imitation or some, I don't know the real word. It's really beautiful. I really like Alice. Especially the scene where we have that uh, what's called swimsuit where it shows, let me see, Stella, Suzuki, and Kagami, and Tin, what's he called, uh, Alice or Nagiya. Oh man, that, that's so funny. That's so funny. And there are also something in this episode that I really are interested in. And that is, there was a girl that um, stood and looked at Iki. I'm pretty sure she is the, the girl at the ending, you know, uh, the black haired girl. But I don't know who she is. I don't know who she is. And I had actually maybe expected us to get that name, but maybe next week. It could be that the opponent, uh, what's called Stella, has been assigned in the ending of this episode, is her. Because we already know that Igis is a girl called Renren Tomoru, who is like, if I should describe her, she looks like plot from uh, Monster Musume, like in a mini version. So yeah, really interesting. Really interesting. <laughs> and, oh man, Kagami, oh yeah. Interesting girl also. But pretty much that's all. And it's so beautiful this episode. I really love this series. And I hope you also love it. And with that, I only have to say have a good take, good night wherever you are. And I'll see you later. Cheers guys or girls. <laughs>